This is how to create a photo addendum after you have done the BPO data entry. Open the photo template in Microsoft Word. This is what it looks like. It should be blank. Go to uh, open up uh, Mozilla Firefox and type HTTP files.tazaario.com. Uh, put in the username and password and all our properties will pop up. The properties are sorted by city name. So if, for instance, we're doing a BPO for Loxahatchee, you go to the city Loxahatchee, and you'll see there's only one property in there, so this is the property. Click on the plus sign, scroll down into the photo section, click on the plus, and then here are all the photos that were taken. This is the date. So what we need is we have to make sure that you have the most recent date. This is January 22nd, February 15th, March 1st, April 6th. So April 6th is the most recent date. So click on it, and here are all the photos. Right-click on the folder and hit play. This will cycle through the photos. So what you do is, now you can just copy and paste the photos in there into the photo addendum. So the first photo is the main photo of the house. So go to the front. This is the main photo of the house. Right click, paste. Left click, address verification. This is the address verification. Paste. Street scene. You want to see how, how the property looks looking down the street? That would be it. Left side of the house. This is the left side. Paste. This then would be the, uh, this would be the right side of the house. We don't really have a good picture of the right side. So just uh, pick the best photo you can. The rear of the house. It may be at the end, let's see. We'll have to get back to that one. Now we do the inside of the house. So the first one of the inside is the entry. This is the entry, paste. You need a photo of every uh, bedroom, every bathroom, living room, dining room, and kitchen. So when you see the label, then you know the next photo is that label. So copy, paste, and type living room. This is another photo of the living room. This is obviously the kitchen. That's another living room photo. That was the living room. This is a copy of the kitchen. You don't want to have more than two photos of any room. If there's two photos, like this is the kitchen and this is another view of the kitchen, then use it so we can see it. Okay, here's bedroom number one. Copy, paste. So that was bedroom. Bedroom number one has two photos. So we can see all four walls. Copy, paste. Bedroom one. Okay, next is bedroom two. So we know this is bedroom two.
copy, paste. Next is bedroom three. So we'll copy and paste and go so on and so forth. So then you would do the same thing for bathroom number one, this picture and that picture. And I would put a third picture in since uh, we can't really see the whole thing there. So you wanna have three pictures if you can't see the whole thing. Bedroom number four has a few photos and this is bathroom number two. And here we have a picture of the yard. So this would be the backyard, copy, go back up here, that's the rear. And that's the rear of the house. Those you can put at the end. So once you've done all the other photos of the inside, you can put additional photos at the end. And then save it in Word and email it to the person who sent it to you.